I now make well into the six figures. I'm a sales director at a Fortune 500 company. I have completely changed my reality to have the life that I want the friends that I want. I look the way that I want to look. I feel the way that I want to feel. I'm off of any antidepressants I used to be on. I don't have an eating disorder. All these things I used to have. And there is a hack. As a society, we're honestly kind of stuck in this matrix or like a program of companies who are feeding us information ultimately to generate profit. But like, don't get me wrong, I love sales. I'm a sales director. I understand the value of income and revenue and all that stuff. I'm a, that's my career. But there are hacks to make this happen. I'm gonna show you what those two hacks are. One is first and foremost, making sure that we do things not just for the sake of generating revenue, but for the sake of joy. And number two is prioritizing a community. We never, ever, 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 ever make time for that in our society because you have to grind. You have to focus so hard. In my experience, you have to make time for those two things and then the money will come. I'm gonna take you through one day of my weekend here where I have a very busy week, I work all the time, but then I make the time for those two things and I wanna share this. I'm, I'm compelled to share it with you because it's that much of a hack. So come with me, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Let's get into it. I've been on a road bike in a long time. Alejandro. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Wow. Hello. Versace. And hers are Chanel. 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 Uh, girl. They gave them to me. Okay, we are off. We're going to do a casual ride. What are you doing? I don't have food. So we stopped for a second. My friend Alejandro. Paul dude has such a good network of friends. He's also like very successful in his career and all that. But I don't know, he feels like he makes a ton of time for friends and stuff. You do a lot of things with friends. Why? You like make time for it. You go biking and running and yeah. things. Have you ever like not had friends? Like I, don't, I don't know, I can't imagine you not having friends. When I was 11 and 12 years old, I moved to Brownsville. Yeah. And I struggled a lot to have friends. You struggled a lot. During those two years, yeah. I think it made me a little more empathic towards other people who have maybe are struggling totally. in life. That's what I'm connections. Well, I, think that's I like bringing I like bringing people in together and yeah. connecting people. Also, I feel like people don't make enough time to be around nature. Yeah. Which I feel like nature just lights people up. Yeah. In a way. I agree. Okay, now I just left my friends. They're going and getting food. I'm gonna go meet up with another friend who we've not had any like one-on-one -on -one time in a while. So now I think we're gonna do that by pool. Do you think having a community is like, obviously it's important. What do I think it's like? No, more so like, I don't know. I used to be unhappy when I didn't feel like I had friends in a community and all that kind of stuff. I think a lot of people don't make time for that. I mean, I think community is everything. I think relationships and friendships and people are everything. Yeah. I think that's life. And I think without that would be a sad life. Do you think people like overvalue their career? I think the problem is making time for that both. Yeah, there's only so many hours in the day. You have to That's like make time. my struggle recently. Is there's only so many hours in the day, so how do you do it all? How do you I be healthy and have a good career and have friendships and have a relationship and go on dates and be, take time to be grounded, but also take time to go out and dance and do fun things? And yeah. How do you do it all? And so I don't think it's this or that, but you just do have to prioritize and like make time for the things that you matter. care about and that matter. Yeah. To have friends, you have to be a friend, right? Yeah. That's, so yeah. I think it's really just one-on-one. Like, feel adults always talk about how it's hard to make adult friendships, but it's really the same thing as any time ever. You just go do things that you enjoy doing and say hi to people around you. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know. I think people take start it harder doing than it. it needs to be. Yeah. Okay. Fast forward now, a couple hours, and I'm going to hang out with some more friends at this awesome freaking place. <laughs> this pool and catch up, you know? Look at all these people. Ah, such good energy, just like in the sun, in the water, like not on your phones, even though I am right now, but just like hanging out, you know? This is so important in my opinion. And I feel like if we don't make time for this, not just like being outside, but just like make time for building relationships. I think that's where a lot of people have gone wrong. That's where I used to go wrong. I, I didn't make time. It was only work all the time or my boyfriend. But community, right? Community and relationships with other people, I've discovered. It's like obvious stuff, but I don't think it's as obvious anymore these days because of like social media and everybody works really hard to be like a boss bitch, you know? And like everybody's trying to be the top person. It's like, there's a balance. You ever been lonely? Today? Twice. In life. <laughs> yeah. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hanging out with losers. From the top, can I shed that tear again? The small doses of dopamine are so available that people don't feel the repercussions of loneliness until it's like a pressure cooker. It like slowly builds up. They micro numb themselves with a night of just Netflix or a night of you know, scrolling or doing this sort of thing. Back of here. You're kind of just like hanging on your own and it's okay. It's not like the worst night ever. But yeah. if, if you didn't have access to that, I think they would crave the community sooner. I agree. Like, I think it's a good point. Or some of that like we're like numbing it. Like we're like kind of chilling on the dopamine need because we're getting it through other you're things. You're getting just enough. You're getting just enough yeah. to not go crazy, but the pressure still builds until you're like, okay, fuck, I got to go do something. I Three years ago, I would go somewhere alone and like not be open to receiving energy from other people. So I'd be like, I'm just gonna do it. And then I'd be like, even though I did it, I'm not emotionally yeah. available yeah, you're to close off. anyone. But I feel like that's kind of like the vibe of our generation too. It's like, I've said this before, but like people almost see it as like rude to go up to somebody that you don't know and to like try and make like a new connection, especially Gen Z. Like if you try going up to somebody in a bar or in like a generally yeah. social setting, people are like kind of averse to it. And it's like, yeah. oh, like what are you doing? A lot, a lot of like what I was doing today, I was like bike riding and going hanging out here. It's like, you're not drinking for a month, right? I'm, I'm not filming you, but like you're not drinking for a month, but it's like, do fucking cool things. Yeah. Just do fun things yeah. like bike ride, do something random. Like the whole like thing of just, I don't know, watching a screen and hanging out. Yeah. I feel like that's what a lot of people do and that's why a lot of people are anxious and sad and I yeah. know that because that's how I was. <laughs> Going and watching Netflix and getting high go like hand in hand with me. Yeah. And if I'm not getting high then I don't really feel like watching TV. Right. So it's like when you don't have those like vices to lean on you like have to get more creative with like the fun that you're having. Yeah. That forces you to like be around other people. Alexander, thank you for having us. He's back from Japan in full form. <laughs> Golden black <laughs> chain right there. It is time to feast. Feast almost. Ting ting. Being gone was great, but being here is greater. Yeah. Yay. Bon appetit. Yay. Thank you, Hutch. Thank you, Alexander. Oh, fuck. I don't want all that. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. This video almost looks okay, disgusting. And you guys, you should try I can't get a one. piece of steak with wasabi. Oh. I don't fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it's now the next day, and I'm on another adventure with more people. I've got a whole crew. Do you think community is something that matters? Life without community sucks. Have you ever not had it? Yeah. Really? It's been suboptimal, very lonely. I had like a few friends, yeah, but nothing that was like anything close to what I have now. How did you make community? Just one by one. Do you like spend alone time with them? Yeah. That's what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing I think brick is- Brick by brick. Brick by brick. Homie by to, homie. You have to like go deep with yeah, each yeah, yeah. person and uh -huh. then it like stacks. So like everyone in, my, in the homie sphere is like people I have a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time with. Yeah. Did you used to make time for community? Cause like, I think people don't make time the way that they should. No, I'm very deliberate. You're very, like you make the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have your own business. It's a necessary and vitamin. And I treat it like foundational life infrastructure. Yeah. Is relationships with people. Yeah. Like I've heard this from someone else, but what's what makes sense to me that the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships and the quality of your experiences. Yeah. And that's kind of it. Yeah. And if you don't have either of those, then you know, it can be kind of shitty. I think the people who are the loneliest and the saddest are people who have, they lack in depth and connection. Yeah. With either themselves or other people, or like God or whatever, but yeah. some kind of connection. I think of people you see on social media that like they're doing social things, yeah, but they're not connected to those people. Right, that's what I think too. Yeah. I always think the people that post the most are the ones that are maybe the unhappiest. Not always, but often. I don't know what the correlation is, but the darker side is when you have people whose relationships are primarily status oriented. Yeah, I'm friends with all these high status people, and they're friends with me because I have status. Yeah, and that's when it gets dark. 
Yeah. Because you're not based on like what really matters. Like love. Yeah. They're based on like ego. Yeah. That's why people who name drop are so like gross. Yeah. I think so too. And you know that like, oh, relationships to, to you are just like stepping you, stones. It's like use it being used. Yeah. Yeah. For you to get status. Yeah. And for you to feel validation by yourself. Yeah.